for glasses-free vision, here is some important information to keep in mind so you can prepare for surgery and know what to expect afterwards. The procedure consists of using a laser to reshape the curve of the cornea. For nearsightedness, myopia, the goal is to flatten the roundness of the cornea. So the laser pulverizes primarily the layers at the summit of the cornea and does less pulverizing around the edge. As an illustration, it is as though the laser was sculpting the shape of a contact lens on the surface of the cornea. For this type of correction, the thickness of the central cornea will therefore be a very important factor for knowing whether you are a good candidate. For farsightedness, hyperopia, treatment will be the opposite, making the cornea rounder. To get the desired effect, the pattern of the ablation will be more like a trough dug around the cornea. However, it is important to know that latent hyperopia may emerge over the years, especially closer to the age of presbyopia. A football shape is often mentioned in cases of astigmatism. This uneven shape between one axis of the eye and the other often makes it difficult to adjust with a contact lens. However, that is not a contraindication for laser surgery. In this case, the correction will consist of flattening the cornea more where it is steeper and less in its opposite axis, with the goal of rounding or standardizing the curve across all axes. During a complete pre-op evaluation, high-definition devices will establish a topographic map of the shape of your cornea. In these color maps, Astigmatism can be seen in the typical shape of an hourglass or bow tie. To be a good candidate for laser surgery, astigmatism needs to be regular, in other words, symmetrical. Some corneal pathologies can be detected using these devices and might be a contraindication. The goal of laser surgery generally is to compensate for distance vision problems. However, the procedure will not prevent the natural progression of presbyopia after age 40. If you want to reduce your reliance on glasses for near vision, the ophthalmologist might suggest monovision correction, which consists of correcting one eye for distance vision and the other for near vision. Your own optometrist may suggest contact lens simulation to determine whether you are a candidate for monovision correction. To find out whether you are a good candidate for laser surgery, make an appointment today for a complete evaluation.